Hi, I'm Mary Fitchner from Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about some children's books that I do with my daughter. There's eight of them. Six about Rusty the Ranch Horse and two about Thunder, the smallest war horse. I write all the stories in rhyme and they all have life lessons about the West and all the things we've learned from the many horses we've owned. And my daughter's name is Rosalind and she is in the art education program at the University of Wyoming. All the books are available at the Works of Wyoming or as we call it, WOW. So I would like to tell you a little bit about each book so that it might help you to choose easier. And thank you for listening. The first one we did is called Rusty Under the Western Skies. And it's all about how Rusty dances in his pasture in a storm instead of going in the barn. It is full of metaphors about how storms sound and smell and look and feel and all the beautiful western skies that we get in the west. It also has a meadow lark on every page, which is our state bird. It received the Five Star Reader's Favorite Award. The next one is Rusty Goes to Frontier Days. Uh, we live in Cheyenne, like I said, and we enjoy Frontier Days a lot. So we wrote a story about Rusty starting out at his ranch and going with his cowboy to spend the day at Frontier Days. He is a steer wrestling horse in the rodeo. and. Uh, the cow dog is along, of course, because he never wants to miss anything, and the kids love finding him on every page. The next one is called Rusty and His Saddle. Rusty's saddle needs a little repair, and it's older than the other horses that he works with, but he outworks them, and so they learn that it's more important what your character is than what you wear. And we have the cow dog on every page in this one, highlighting an attribute from the code of the West, which we put in the back of the story for learning about how Wyoming was the first state to put that into our state legislature. We like to highlight the ethics in that story. This one is called Rusty and the Pot of Gold. He and his cowboy decide to see if there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So they run through every color to get there and of course, they learn that there is no pot of gold. But what they figure out is the landscape that they live and work in is the treasure. So it's about counting your blessings. The next one is Rusty and the River. It was chosen to represent Wyoming at the National Book Festival in Washington, D.C. It's all about how Rusty loves the river and everything that goes on there. All the animals that live there, the plants that grow there, everything that it does for our landscape. And it has, of course, a little trout on every page. The next one is Rusty's Cowboy. So this one is all about the cowboy and the reasons and meaning behind all of his things. His hat, his spurs, his horse, his rope, even his heart. The, the traditions of the cowboy attire are long and historic. So that's what that one is about. The last two are about Thunder. We call him the smallest war horse because he's a mini horse and he has a lot of battles in his head, just like we all do. This one is called the big battle because he lives with big horses and he wants to be able to do everything that they do. And that is about all he can focus on until he learns what his gifts are and what he can do that they can't do. So it is a story about self-acceptance. And lastly, we have the waiting battle of Thunder, the smallest war horse. And it's obviously about waiting for things of which most of us struggle with, at least I know I do. He seems to get to the back of the line and forgotten and last all the time. But there is one thing that he's first at every day. And so he learns that sometimes there's a blessing with the wait. So we hope you'll check out our books and thank you for listening.